Ryland Adams and Shane Dawson just had to kick out Ryland's little sister Morgan. And this is something that we can all learn from when we talk about boundaries. And it's also about growing up. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you to improve your mental health. So what I like to do is take certain things happening on YouTube or in pop culture and try to teach you what you can take from these things and try to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I subscribe to Shane, I don't subscribe to Rylan, eh, but uh, I, I got the video recommended to me on YouTube about Rylan kicking Morgan out and like, Shane Dawson, I don't know about Ryland, but Shane Dawson is really good at clickbait, all right? And like, it's it's just something you gotta do as part of this YouTube game I talk about. So when I saw Ryland's title, Ryland's title, I'm like, mm, did he really do it, you know? And you know, uh, my girlfriend sent it to me, so I'm, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll watch this. Maybe this is going to have a good topic, like maybe about setting boundaries and things like that. And it actually was very good. So like, part of this is, growing up, okay? And before I get started, by the way, this isn't sponsored, but I wanna recommend this book. It's called Un Your Adulting by Dr. Faith Harper, okay? She is an amazing, amazing woman. She is, uh, has a PhD. She does amazing things when it comes to mental health. She is a great author. And this is a new book that's coming out, I believe this month. But since I signed up on the Kickstarter, I got an advanced copy. And next week, I'm actually gonna dedicate videos to this book to try to get the word out. Like, if you are trying to improve your mental health and you have, you know, I don't know, maybe a, a, a vulgar sense of humor. Uh, like she cusses a lot, she makes things very relatable. And like, there, she has so much wisdom and knowledge, it's amazing. So like, if you like to improve your mental health without going to therapy or going to a doctor or you don't want somebody talking to you like all professional and stuff, like you gotta get some of the books by Dr. Faith Harper. I'm actually gonna link up in the info card above. I did a book review of uh, her other book called Un your brain, and that was amazing too. If you struggle with depression, anxiety, PTSD, anything like that, you gotta check that book out. But anyways, um, again, this isn't sponsored. Like, I just, I, I am so passionate about the work that Dr. Faith Harper does. Like, she should be a bestseller. Like, everybody needs to read her books. Like, she, she speaks to me personally and my personality, and I think that's why I love it so much. And I know a lot of you enjoy my personality, maybe. So if you like my personality, then you'll definitely like hers because she is way better and more knowledgeable than I am. And after I do some stuff with her books and reviews, she's gonna come over and do an interview and we're gonna talk about stuff. But anyways, this book is about how you grow up, okay? Maybe I'll send Morgan a copy, I don't know. But anyways, so to start this video, just kind of a little review of it, like I was so annoyed at the beginning of the video because Ryland is filming um, him telling Morgan that she's gotta leave, right? And like, at first I'm like, really, do you gotta film this? But as somebody who takes examples like this and tries to teach other people about mental health, I'm glad that they did, right? But anyways, the reason why I was annoyed was because like Shane and, Shane was goofing off the whole time and then like you hear Andrew with his, you know, epic laugh in the background holding the camera. No, I'm serious though, because I know that we had always talked <laughs> Shane, get over here. That's me moving out. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> and like, Ryland's trying to have a serious conversation. Everybody's like joking around and Morgan's kind of joking. And I was texting my girlfriend. I'm like, if that was me, I would be so annoyed. I would lose it. I would lose it. Because this is already an awkward conversation that you have to have with somebody. Like, that's his sister. That's the one he invited into his home. And like, now you gotta say, yo, you gotta leave. Like, that's an awkward conversation. And everybody around like goofing off, like, that would drive me nuts. But anyways, like, that was just a small part of the video, then it gets more serious and stuff. Ryland and Shane actually talked about it. So basically, they wanted to help Morgan get on her feet and have her move out to Los Angeles and stuff, but 
here's the first tip, okay? If you're ever gonna have somebody move in with you, create a time frame, okay? Like say, okay, you can move in for this amount of time. For example, one of my best friends in the world, Nikki, um, some stuff happened with her roommate and her apartment, she needed a place to stay. I'm like, yeah, sure, you can move in with me, I have an extra bedroom. I was like, but this is for, you know, I think I said like three months. I said three months, then you gotta find your own place. Like, I am somebody who just doesn't like roommates, you know? And even though Nikki's one of my best friends in the world, I just don't like roommates. So I put a three month guideline on it, right? Well, as she stayed with me, she was the best roommate I ever had. Like, I, I loved living with her. She, she stayed out of my way, I stayed out of hers, but when we wanted to talk and hang out, we could, like, it was a very good, good roommate situation, so she ended up staying longer. But, like, if you are having a friend or family member move in with you, like, you should set this up in advance, so that way, the conversation isn't as awkward later. Because, like, Morgan took it very cool, right? And she she makes money, she has an income, but I imagine, you know, a lot of people, like, you let somebody come in, and if it's somebody like Morgan, they're not gonna get off their butt and go do something, right? So it's important to kind of set that guideline, because if you're somebody like me who has anxiety, like, you don't wanna wait and wait and wait, and then next thing you know, they're there for a year because you're too afraid to have this conversation. But one of the reasons that Rylan wanted to do this was because he knows that Morgan won't do it on her own. So Rylan, I, I don't call this enabling, Okay, like Rylan knows this about her, so he has to kind of shove her along. But you know, in this brother-sister relationship, he's actually very, very kind and compassionate and loving. He seems like a good, good big brother. Um, but yeah, Morgan kind of knows that about herself. She's self-aware and things like that. So during this process, like Shane actually, he's he's a very smart guy and. There's so many of you out there who are watching this and you you are younger than me. <laughs> and like a, a huge thing, and one of the reasons I'm going to review this book, there's a lot of things about growing up and being an adult that like people don't teach us. Like they don't teach this stuff in school. You know what I mean? Like Morgan jokingly says like, I don't even know what Elise is, you know? And maybe she's serious, I don't know. But like there's so many things that we're not taught. You know what I mean? So anyway, Shane's idea was like, you guys should document this process because one of the concerns that Ryland has is that Morgan's gonna isolate, she's gonna be depressed, she's not gonna do anything and stuff like that. And Shane's like, you should go out and like do stuff with her and you know, help her meet new people and stuff like that. And like, that's phenomenal. And I would love to see that documented because I know for a fact it can help people. I know there's a lot of people who are socially awkward and don't like to meet new people and stuff, but it's stuff that you gotta do to improve your mental health or keep a good level of mental health. You know what I mean? And like, Morgan's in a better situation than Ryland was when Ryland moved out there because he didn't know anybody and he had to force himself. By the way, take some tips and pointers from Ryland. Like, he knew certain things about himself. He was very self-aware. So he forced himself into uncomfortable situations. Like he said, he took like an acting class and some other things to force himself to meet people. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's awkward. Like, we're not five anymore. It's weird going up to somebody and be like, can you be my friend? But like, that's not how it is. And like, maybe I need to make videos about how you make adult friends. Um, but yeah, it, it's very socially awkward. So it's good that Morgan has Ryland there and they can go do stuff together and Morgan can start meeting some other people. Um, Morgan, like a lot of other people, you know, in the world, you know, she definitely has self-confidence issues. And, you know, Shane even points out that he loves her, he thinks that she's funny and things like that. And, you know, one of the ways that you combat that is by getting proof. And when Morgan starts to go out there and meet people who actually like her and enjoy her company, that's going to help. Now, the whole living situation, basically what's gonna happen is Shane rented out an office with Garrett months and months and months ago and they were gonna do all this new content and they pretty much did nothing with it. I think he might still f film conspiracy theory videos there when he does them, he hasn't done one in a while. Um, but basically that, that office is vacant, um, so Morgan's going to move there. She's going to pay Shane rent. So, now how does this affect you? What, what can you do in your life? So, my suggestion is, because especially when it's friends and family, like. Yeah, you wanna make it cheap for them, but you also wanna make sure that you're not enabling them because part of this whole thing of making Morgan move out is to help her grow up. So she's going to have to be responsible and there needs to be, here's the recommendation I have. They should have a contract in place. So when I got sober six years ago, I was in a sober living house and then I moved in with my mom. My mom had me sign a contract of things that I would do in order to live there, right? So that way, I couldn't really argue if I screwed up and my mom's like, yo, you're gonna be on the streets. You know what I mean? So like, 
I would just, you know, hope because they're trying to help Morgan grow up and become an adult, like they have some strict guidelines, like Morgan needs to pay on this day of the month, don't be short, da 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 da, you know what I mean? Like a real landlord would be. If not, she's still going to be getting coddled and not fully grow up. That's one of the reasons why you see adults who are basically grown children, because they've had people kind of helping them far too long. And I made a video the other day about like the Shane and Abel people and things like that, but like, I don't know, we'll we'll see with this situation and maybe we won't know all of the details. But like I said, I think it'll be really interesting and cool if they document her just trying to grow up. Like, that is awesome. That's what YouTube is for, to document this type of stuff. Because I know it helps people. Like, even though I make these videos to try to teach you how to pull things from the entertainment you're watching. I know a lot of people already do that naturally. So I'll be keeping an eye on it. I might do some follow-ups, but like, the boundary thing is really, really important. Like, if any of you are parents out there, like at some, some point, you're gonna have to kick your kid out. You know what I mean? You're gonna have to have awkward conversations. Like, having awkward conversations is part of being an adult. And I'm sorry to say that, but the best thing you could do for your mental health is to learn how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Like, that's huge. You gotta have these conversations. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like, how do you act during awkward conversations or what's an experience you had with an awkward conversation about setting a boundary, maybe with a friend or a family member or, or something like that. Maybe you had to kick a roommate out, whatever it is. Let's all share our experiences down below. I definitely, I have a million of them myself. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for you for now. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if again, if you're new here, I'm all about helping you out with your mental health. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. And I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you wanna get yourself some sweet Rewired Soul merch, boom, click or tap right there on that little logo. All right, thanks so much for watching. Set up some boundaries and have uncomfortable conversations, and I'll see you next time.